my brushes. What's up friends, Liron here. Thank you for joining me in another video. In this video, I wanna present you with the current watercolor brushes that I use. Um, I'm about a year into watercolor and I sort of have this uh, group of brushes that I always came back to during this year and so it's kind of settled around um, six of them that I really use on a regular basis almost every day. So I'm gonna just show them to you one by one um, and it may help you to sort of understand what you may want to try out for yourself. Um, so let's get started with the first brush which is this fat mop brush. It's a um, Leonard size 6. Um, I got this one in Paris. Actually, you can't find too many of these um, here uh, in Israel. So I got this one in Paris. I was I wanted to get one of these for a while uh, because I know a lot of uh, artists that paint in the style that I like uh, use these kinds of mop uh, brushes. And so this one, uh, I really like it. I use it for uh, large washes and also to get... Um, Let's say I use it even when you would expect I don't use it because I always use a little bit of it too, too large of a brush uh, because I find that it, it's just better. I don't have patience to fill in uh, huge areas with just a teeny tiny brush. And so I like to use uh, one of these big brushes even for uh, smaller areas. And because it has a point, a really good point, then you can uh, really get into tight spots with it. So it still works, functions well. So this work works great for an initial wash, maybe even a second or a third wash, depending on the, the size of what you're uh, painting and if there are large areas. So this is the first one. Um, now, two of the most common ones I use is the uh, silver black velvet ones. So I have the size 12 and size 8. Uh, these are also, I've been using these for a while now, I think about five months. And I really like them. They also, this one is uh, size 12 is really good. You can fill in the medium areas with it if you still want control. And you can also, uh, it has a point so you can get to some tight spots with it as well. Uh, for this one, the size 8, I just use for smaller areas that I want to cover really uh, carefully and be more careful with uh, the details. So it's these two. Next, I have um, this one, the Raphael size 12. Now, this one is its exactly the same size as my uh, silver black velvet, but I, I still like to use it uh, because I like to just torture it a bit more. I want to keep my um, the point on the silver black velvet. I want to keep the point of it. And this one comes to less of a point when it's uh, fully wet. So uh, what happens is you get a very round uh, sort of wash. And so it doesn't really matter to keep it. So I just smash it on the paper and, and get this um, interesting texture of, for trees and things of that nature. So it's really uh, good for this type of use. And this one uh, is the tiny, I don't know this brand, it says American Painter. I just got it off eBay, I think. I was just looking for a rigor brush, you know, to do rigor work, just small details, uh, sort of wires running or... Uh, all kinds of the, the final details that you add, maybe even dry brush. And so I just got it off uh, eBay because I couldn't find a lot of rigor brushes that, that were decent and this was the, the only one I found. I like it, it's, it's good. I find that it really holds a small, tiny amount of uh, pigment and water. So I really have to load it up all the way to the end, like actually go like this, get, get it full of, not like this with my finger, <laughs> on the palette, like with the side of it. Uh, just to make sure it's full of uh, of water and paint. So it's this one. And the last one, and in the last video I did on my brushes, this is sort of an update to that after a year, um, less than a year, but after a year into watercolor, is the last time I didn't really like it. It's a Museum Emerald flat brush. And so last time I reviewed it, I don't know if it will focus. Last time I reviewed it, I didn't really like it. Now, I'm still not a big fan. It's not their fault. It's not the brush's fault. I think it's a matter of taste. Uh, my personal taste, I don't really like it. I don't feel like it holds enough water and I feel like it has too much of a spring. Although a spring can be a good thing. But in this case, I'm not so sure about this one. 
Um, I feel like it doesn't hold too much paint or water and it just runs out really fast and you get a lot of dry strokes, but it is really good to get the corners of, of, of different areas if you want pointy edges or if you want to do like lines sort of similar to the rigger, then this one is really good because you can just use it like that. So I do use it. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's really the design is really good. It has a, a place to hold it like properly, and I like the way it looks. Um, just personally, less my taste. Uh, so anyway, this is it. These are again the six brushes: Fat One, Silver Black Velvet, Raphael Rigger, and uh, Emerald Museum Emerald, uh, which I think is a good brand. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new. I know brushes can be a bit of a confusing thing when just getting started. I always advise just get uh, maybe a size 12 uh, round brush that can get to a point. Um, that has a pointy tip and maybe one flat. And I think this is really all you need to get started. Uh, later on, if you find that you love the specific style that uses uh, these ones, or, or if you find yourself needing to cover large washes, then the, the mop is really good. There are better ones. This was the cheapest one in the store because I wanted. I like to start cheap, by the way. That's just my approach. I like to start cheap and then move to, on to expensive ones. Uh, not because I'm cheap. I actually end up spending more because I could just go for the more expensive one. Uh, immediately but I don't and the reason why is I like to feel why I'm paying more so I'll start with a cheap one I'll, I'll learn it understand how it how it is and then I'll move on to a more expensive one and I can really appreciate it so this is why I like to do that um, not in, not in, not in everything for paper I think you should just start with the, the best paper you can afford but for brushes I think it's okay even for paint um, it's, it's okay to start not from the most expensive one. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is it. Just uh, size 12 is really good to get started. Maybe flat one, rigor, you can go on uh, if you see that you want to add some rigor work, more details. This is it. Uh, if you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. I really publish a lot of these kinds of snippet of information that uh, I think people find really useful. I'll also add a link below to my beginner's drawing course. So if you're interested in drawing, um, check it out. And I'll see you again in another video. Take care.